Everything to know before you visit Tokyo. Tokyo is among the most interesting cities in the world, not only in Japan. It is an extraordinarily vast metropolis with a never-ending number of entertaining and exciting things to do and places to visit. But when is the best time to visit Tokyo? Well, that depends on what you're looking for in this dynamic city. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll talk you through the best places you can visit, the streets you can buy local food from, must-do activities, and everything you need to know before visiting Tokyo. Tokyo is one of the locations where it is most difficult to arrange a trip because there is so much to do there. Planning a vacation to Tokyo might be challenging, so we are making things easy for you. We have everything under one roof, this video, and you can plan accordingly. Tokyo is known for its wide range of activities and top attractions, including museums, festivals, cuisine recognized worldwide, and professional sports teams that play sports like baseball and football, and traditional Japanese activities like sumo wrestling. It is also a city with a thriving theater and music scene, with several venues hosting everything from pop and rock concerts to symphony orchestras and modern Japanese dramas. Explore the city with the help of our list of the best things to do in Tokyo. Number 1. Enjoy nature and art at the Meiji Shrine The magnificent Meiji Shrine, Meiji Jing, built in 1915 and dedicated to Emperor Meiji and his wife, Empress Shiken, was finished in 1926. Although the old building was destroyed during World War II, it was reconstructed in 1958 and is still one of Tokyo's most significant places of worship. The shrine's highlights include its inner precinct, Nayan, which houses a museum with royal treasures and the outer precinct. The inner precinct is surrounded by a 175-acre evergreen forest that is home to about 120,000 trees, representing species found across Japan, as well as the intriguing Wishing Tree, on which visitors can write and hang their deepest wishes, Gaian. The Meiji Memorial Picture Gallery, which houses a magnificent collection of murals depicting the life of the emperor and empress, is located in the outer precincts. Remember to stop at the nearby Yoyogi Gyuen, Meiji Shrine Inner Garden, a lovely public garden with a tea house, an iris garden, and a welcoming arbor. Number 2. Visit Shibuya Sky to take a picture of the renowned Shibuya Crossing from above. A must-do in Tokyo is to experience the chaos of the Shibuya Crossing. But first, go pet Hachiko, the statue built in honor of the world's most devoted dog. For the greatest views, proceed across the scramble and up to the Shibuya Sky Observation Deck at Shibuya Scramble Square. From 230 meters above ground, take in a stunning bird's eye perspective of the busy intersection below and 360 degree views of the entire Shibuya region from the open air sky deck. On a clear day, you can see Mount Fuji. Don't forget to take a picture from the sky edge, a point from which you can look down unimpeded at the cityscape below. You can view the crossing light light show at night when 18 beams brighten the city sky. Number 3. Izakaya Alley Enjoy a drink with the locals Tokyo is home to thousands of upscale eateries and bars that provide delectable, high-quality fare. Still, for a more distinctive drinking experience, Izakaya Alley Yokocho is a fantastic dining choice. Izakaya is a Japanese-style pub or bar that serves alcoholic beverages and Japanese food or snacks at a relatively cheap price usually. Salarymen and locals stop by Izakaya pubs after work for a few beers. Izakaya alleyways are quaint, smoke-filled little streets lined with Izakaya bars. Izakaya varies in size, with some having only a few seats. Instead of dining at upscale bars, Western tourists may find it a completely different experience to sit next to locals and have a glass of sake with real Japanese foods and snacks. In Tokyo, there are several atmospheric izakaya lanes and drinking areas, including Shinjuku, Shibuya, and Ueno. Joining bar hopping tours is one of the finest methods to learn about Tokyo's drinking scene. For first-time tourists, many local izakaya could be difficult to locate or access. Still, the local bar hopping tour can take you to secret bars and izakaya 
and demonstrate the true drinking culture in Tokyo. You will be mesmerized by the wide variety of remarkable experiences this metropolis offers each time you visit its mega city full of well-known tourist destinations. The largest city in the world is home to a fascinating modern townscape made up of skyscrapers combined with historic buildings that date back centuries, busy streets crowded with people and lively stores, as well as alluring secret natural locations. The definitive list of the top tourist attractions in Tokyo is provided below. Number 4. For anime and manga fans, visit Akihabara. It is a must-visit location. This distinctive area in Tokyo's northeast is home to well-known electronic retailers and intriguing otako locations. Otako means geek in Japanese. Yotobashi Akihabara is a sizable shopping center focusing on electronic devices, including PCs, cameras, and other gadgets. Super Potato offers an endless selection of vintage Japanese video games, while Radio Kaika will transport you to the otaku universe of anime-related goods. The bustling shopping district is also home to several themed cafes, including the Gundam Cafe, a must-visit location for devoted fans, and Japan's well-known maid cafes. Number 5. Yanaka A well-known Yanaka Ginza photo location. Tokyo is most renowned for its cutting-edge, futuristic side, complete with high-tech buildings. But a historical tour is terrific because it gives you a new perspective on Tokyo. Despite being in the heart of Tokyo, the Yanaka neighborhood has a local feel and an untouched ambience. Discover the lovely neighborhood while shopping and dining like a native at Yanaka Ginza Shopping Street. One of the most well-liked tours in Tokyo is Magical Trip's Yanaka's Old Town Walking Tour. This tour is highly recommended if you'd prefer to experience another aspect of Tokyo rather than its contemporary culture. Enjoy strolling through the neighborhood, stopping for refreshments, and exploring some secret locations. Number 6. Tokyo Imperial Palace The magnificent Imperial Palace in Tokyo serves as the Imperial Palace of Japan. The region is a vast park that encompasses an incredible amount of space in the middle of the city and is much more than simply a single palace. You can stroll through verdant parks and take in the water-filled moat and cherry trees around you because many of the exterior gardens are open and free to the public. This area in the city becomes one of the greatest for photography in April when the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. The Imperial Palace was formerly known as Edo Castle, the residence of samurai warriors. Number 7. Tokyo Tower You might be surprised to discover a structure in the center of Tokyo inspired by the Eiffel Tower. However, there it is. One of the city's most distinctive sights is the Lattice Tower the second tallest building in Japan, which is painted in a striking orange and white color scheme. Tokyo Tower was only constructed in 1958 and is largely utilized for broadcasting and communication. But you may go to one of the two observation decks, which can give you a breathtaking view of the city below. Number 8. Shop Till You Drop in the Ginza District Tokyo's busiest shopping district, Ginza, is far older and just as well known as Times Square in New York. It has served as the nation's commercial hub for centuries and is the intersection of five historic routes connecting Japan's largest cities. The Ginza district, lined with upscale boutiques and magnificent royal buildings, is also enjoyable to stroll around. Even better, have a seat at one of the many restaurants or tea and coffee shops and see how the world moves by. It is one of the world's largest pedestrian zones on weekends when everything is open and traffic is prohibited, making it a shopper's paradise. Ginza is illuminated by colossal neon advertising panels that cover many of its structures at night. In general, you can eat very well in Tokyo while spending little money if you pay attention to the tiny things that make a difference. However, because many restaurants are fairly pricey, eating in Tokyo may be less enjoyable for your pocketbook. In this article, I've included a list of advice on where to eat in Tokyo and how to identify the best restaurants frequented by locals. Enjoy my super ultimate guide to Tokyo for foodies. Number 9. Sushi Dai and Daiwa Sushi Undoubtedly, Daiwa Sushi and Sushi Dai are the most well-liked sushi restaurants in the neighborhood of Tokyo. 
These two sushi joints are frequently rated as serving the best sushi in Tokyo. We went to Daiwa Sushi in Tokyo on one of our trips there. We also experienced the Yamakase chef's selection style for the first time while in Japan. The sushi is uncomplicated, yet incredibly fresh, with nothing to die for. Exceptionally fresh ingredients were used in every dish. It was a wonderful culinary experience. The sushi was the greatest I've ever had. Be aware that there are typically long lineups outside these two well-known stores. However, you will undoubtedly have to wait in line if you truly want to enjoy sushi. Avoid missing out! In 2019, Daiwa Sushi and Sushi Dai will relocate from the Tsukiji Market to the Toyose Market. But fear not, both continue to offer Tokyo's best fresh sushi. Number 10. Skemen Japanese for dipping noodles is skemen. This ramen is served with noodles and broth in separate bowls, and you dunk the noodles into the soup and slurp away. Chef Kazoya Magashi created it in Tokyo in the early 1960s. As more skemen restaurants opened, the variety increased. Today, dipping udon and soba are also available. Skemen noodles tend to be thicker, and the broth's flavor is much stronger than regular ramen soup. Number 11. Tokyo's Budget Dining We were cautious of the expensive food in Tokyo because we were traveling on a tight budget. We were well aware of how expensive everything was in Japan. One of the aspects of our trip to Japan that we were most looking forward to was indulging in the must-try cuisine in Tokyo. We discovered that not all of Tokyo's well-known cuisine is pricey. While certain Tokyo restaurants are known for their expensive costs, we also found that Tokyo has many affordable dining options. In reality, many of Tokyo's top restaurants serve dishes for less than $10. And lastly, to talk about the best season to visit, we hope all this information helps you plan the best trip to Tokyo in 2023. Tokyo 2023 is looking bright, particularly with several new openings and events scheduled for the city this year. The question remains though, when is the ideal time to visit Tokyo? What you're searching for in this vibrant metropolis will depend on your preferences. Who could resist the allure of the cherry blossoms? Ah, oh, the busiest season to visit Tokyo. Yet it makes perfect sense. While it might be challenging to predict the precise dates to see the pink flowers at their greatest bloom, because it depends on the weather and temperature, you can now begin to plan your trip based on this year's Sakura forecast. Tokyo's Sakura trees are predicted to bloom around March 22, with peak bloom occurring around March 30. This information comes from the Japan Meteorological Corporation. You should watch the winter cherry blossoms if you visit Tokyo in early March or late February. The kawaii sakura, a type of cherry blossom that blooms in the colder months, is less common in Tokyo than in their springtime virgin. Still, starting in mid-February, you can readily locate them in the city's most well-known parks. Additionally, these deeper pink blossoms typically endure a month or more. That's all for today, folks, and we hope you enjoyed watching the video with us. Keep watching for more amazing videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel on your way out. See you next time. Until then, bye!